Well, Vikings fans, you were asking for a left guard, and we answered your question. Wyatt Davis from Ohio State is on the line, and Wyatt, congratulations. Welcome to Minnesota. We are so excited to have you here, man. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I, I honestly, I feel so blessed to be a part of this organization, and you know, I'm just excited and can't can't wait to get to work. Man, happy I found a home. <laughs> happy, I'm, we're happy that you, you're calling this place home from from here on out for the future. But for you, walk me through the draft process because I'm sure it was long and grueling, and it, it had to be you know nerve wracking also. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the draft process it's a really long process, especially now with with COVID protocol and. You know, typically you meet with these teams at the combine. Well, um, you know, meetings started pretty much as soon as the season was over and as soon as you declared for the draft. So it's been a been a long waited process, and I'm just happy that it's over. It's still obviously at the same time it's a blessing to be in this position, mm -hmm. but it, it, it can definitely be a long process. Man, a two-time All-American like that 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 shouldn't go unsaid. I mean, walk me through your work ethic to to getting to that point to being called an All-American. Not many people can say that. You know, not, not many. And honestly, I, I just feel like the reason why I was even, I have this opportunity to even have been an All-American is just because of the work ethic that goes into Ohio State. Mm. And not even just that, the culture that's upheld, especially with the offensive line. You know, I've had great leaders in front of me before I, I got into the position of playing. But uh, when I got in that position of playing, especially as an interior lineman for Ohio State, you uphold the reputation of being pretty much a blue collar worker. You got to be nasty, physical, and you got to finish. Mm -hmm. And that that was all the qualities that I, I worked for. And it all starts in the off season with training. And I was the guy that'd be out there leading the pack. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I feel like the, the hard work and everything that I put in prior to both of those seasons was a testimony to me being an all American both consecutive years. First year being consistent, uh, consensus, and then uh, this past year being unanimous. So I, I think it was just every, uh, all my hard work. That's amazing, man. I mean, we're, 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 we're showing highlights of you playing in the college football playoffs. And of course, you played in the national championship this year and you played in the playoffs last year. The competition that you were you know, faced against the past few seasons, how do you think that has prepared you for this opportunity now in Minnesota? Well, I think it's prepared me a lot. I think it's prepared me to be in the position I'm, I am today speaking with you. And uh, going to a place like Ohio State, uh, it's a place where you're going for the competition. And you're not going just for the Big Ten play. You're also going for what comes after. And our, our goal each and every year is to win a national championship and compete against, you know, the Alabamas of the world and the Clemsons. And I think by, by being in those type of environments, um, especially prior to COVID, 2019 Fiesta Bowl against Clemson, you know, it was so loud in there. You could barely hear mm -hmm. what was going on next to you. So I think playing in those type of big, big game environments has definitely helped prepare me for, for what's to come. Yeah, what's to come is going to be crazy because the Minnesota faithful here at U.S. Bank Stadium, they get loud, they get crazy. So it's only going to welcome you here right because – also, I know you know a lot about this this rivalry. Your your grandfather, Willie Davis, Hall of Famer, played for the Green Bay Packers. So, what do you know about the Green Bay Packers versus Vikings rivalry? Do you are you accustomed to it at all? You know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I I really, truthfully, wasn't. I knew that the rivalry was big, but I didn't understand how big it was. And you know, I've gotten asked this question a lot uh, in regards to with my grandfather being a Packer. I mean, honestly, <laughs> obviously, growing up for me, I was. I was somewhat forced to to watch Packer games. Not saying that I was a fan, but at the end of the day, I know that my grandfather is happy that I I even have the opportunity to play. And, um, I know that he's smiling down uh, with me, and everyone else in my family couldn't be happier. So I know it's a big rivalry, and I know going into that game when it's that time, I, I know that I, I'm, I'm gonna have a lot to do if if I uh, if I want to compete in regards to my grandfather's legacy in the NFL. So I'm definitely gonna have to win those games. Awesome, man. <laughs> awesome. Well, you're from California. You went to Ohio State. Now you're moving to Minnesota. Uh, you got a jacket? I definitely have a couple jackets. <laughs> I, I got a couple. Awesome. I got a couple. Awesome, man. Well, that jacket in Ohio State made you a two-time All-American, and we know that. But what else are Minnesota Vikings fans getting with you? Uh, you're getting someone that, that that's just ready to get to work, honestly. And, and uh, you know, as far as 
this draft process and all that, obviously it's a blessing. But for me, you're getting a guy that, one, I, I didn't care why I went in the draft. I just wanted to get with the team and get ready to work. So you're getting a hard worker, someone that puts the team before himself. And more, most importantly, you're getting someone that's accountable. Mm. And uh, I, I can't wait to to uphold the standard of being a Viking offensive lineman. And I can't wait to compete. Uh, accountable Minnesota Vikings fans. We're getting a dog and we're getting a great person on top of that, man. Wyatt, I'm excited for you. Best of luck. Safe travels up here. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.